A new day begins, and with it, the opportunity to renew our faith and strengthen our connection with God. Let's start this day in prayer, inspired by God's Word. Stay with me until the end to receive all the blessings of this message. Almighty God, as I wake up to this new day, I approach you with a humble heart and a grateful spirit. I acknowledge your greatness and sovereignty over all things. In your presence, I find refuge and strength, and it is to you that I offer my prayers and praises. This morning, Father, you are the creator of the heavens and the earth, the architect of all that is seen and unseen. I praise you, Lord, for your immeasurable strength and infinite wisdom. You are worthy of all glory and praise. Your majesty is seen in every sunrise, and your mercy is renewed every morning. As your word tells me in Lamentations 3 verses 22 to 23, because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning, great is your faithfulness. I recognize, Lord, that without you, I can do nothing, and that all my strength comes from you. I exalt your holy name because you are righteous and faithful. In your love, you sent your only Son, Jesus Christ, so that through him, I may be reconciled to you. Jesus, my Savior, by your grace I am saved, and in your mercy, I find shelter. You are the God who heals my wounds and calms my storms. In difficult moments, your truth is my guide, and in times of weakness, your strength sustains me. I can do all things through you, who strengthens me. Father, I celebrate your presence in my life this morning. Your presence brings me peace that surpasses all understanding, love that fills every void, and hope that never fails. In you, I not only find my Creator but also my loving Father, my faithful friend, and my wise counselor. Thank you, Lord, for being my shepherd, the one who cares for me and provides all that I need. I trust in you completely knowing that in your arms I am secure and that I shall lack nothing. Your provision is perfect, and your ways are always just. May I walk in your ways, reflecting your light and love in everything I do. Refresh my soul, Lord, and grant me the peace that only you can offer. I call upon your presence at this moment, that your Holy Spirit may descend upon me, filling me with your heavenly glory. May my heart be touched by your mighty hand, and may my life reflect the radiance of your divine light. Almighty Lord, as this new day begins, I lift before you every person listening to this message. I ask for your divine protection over their lives. At this moment, I declare Psalm 91 over all who are hearing me. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways, they will lift you up in their hands, 
so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Lord, let the promises declared in this psalm become a reality in the lives of each person who turns to you now. Protect them from the enemy's schemes, from the traps of evil, and from any negative influences that surround them. Stretch out your mighty hand over your children. Cover them with the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I declare that everyone listening is hidden from the eyes of evil. No harm, no weapon formed against them will prosper, for they are anchored and secure in you. Guard their families, their homes, and everything they hold dear. May they feel secure, protected, and shielded by your constant presence. Let your mighty angels camp around them, delivering them from all harm. Lord, under the authority of Jesus' name, I ask that each person joining this prayer be strengthened and encouraged, knowing they are covered and protected by you. May the security in you be not just a hope, but a tangible reality in their lives. In the midst of life's storms, may they find you as their safe harbor, their secure refuge. Grant them the assurance that no matter what adversities they face, you are with them, ensuring they never walk alone. Father, in this sacred moment of communion with you, I declare unwavering trust in your strength and your provision. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path, and in it, I find the truths that guide my life in this turbulent world. I choose to trust in you, Lord. I believe you are the God who never fails, whose promises are eternal, and whose faithfulness spans generations. Lord, I proclaim that you are my secure refuge, my sacred sanctuary, where I find peace and safety. In you, my weary soul finds rest, and my troubled heart receives comfort. Grant me the grace to always seek shelter in your presence, finding in you the serenity the world cannot offer. Make me ever aware of your constant presence in my life. May I always feel your protection and love surrounding me, especially in times of great distress. May my first instinct, in the face of any challenge, be to seek you, knowing that in your refuge, I will find strength and safety. Inspired by your infinite love, I commit to standing firm in my faith and remaining faithful in my walk with you. May my life be a testimony of your mercy and goodness. Help me live in a way that reflects the trust one have in you, showing the world that you are the only refuge and fortress. As your word says in Nahum 1 verse 7, the Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in him. As I rise to face this new day, I also declare the power of Psalm 91 over my life and the lives of all who hear this prayer. Your word says, whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Father, I claim this divine protection over every listener. May your faithful promises be their armor and protection. We will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. 
Though a thousand may fall at our side, and ten thousand at our right hand, it will not come near us. We will only observe with our eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. Lord, your word assures us, if you say, The Lord is my refuge, and make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways, they will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You promised that your angels would be sent to surround and protect us, and I believe this for every person under the sound of this prayer. May they walk confidently, knowing that you will tread on the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because we love you, you have said you will rescue us. You will protect us, for we acknowledge your name. When we call on you, you will answer. You will be with us in trouble, you will deliver us and honor us. With long life, you will satisfy us and show us your salvation. Father, we declare that today, no weapon formed against us will prosper, for you are our shield and our defender. You go before us, making every crooked path straight, and we trust in your divine plan for our lives. Even in moments of uncertainty, we will not waver, for we know that your promises are sure and steadfast. Lord, your word tells us in Isaiah 40 verse 31 that, those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, they will run and not grow weary, they will walk and not be faint. Father, we claim this promise for everyone praying with us today. Let our hearts be filled with hope that lifts us above every trial, and let us soar on the wings of faith, trusting in your everlasting love. Thank you, Lord, for being our refuge in times of trouble. You are the anchor of our souls, holding us steady amidst the storms of life. When the winds of doubt try to shake us, we stand firm in your love. When fear knocks on the door of our hearts, we choose to open the door only to your peace, the peace that surpasses all understanding. As we walk through this day, Lord, we ask for your favor to rest upon us. Open doors of opportunity that no man can shut. Help us to recognize your hand at work in every situation, and grant us the humility to acknowledge that every good thing in our lives comes from you. Your word says in James 1 verse 17, Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. We are grateful, Lord, for your unchanging goodness. Father, I lift up every family represented here today. Bless our homes with your peace, your love, and your provision. Cover our children and loved ones with your divine protection. Let your angels surround them, guarding their coming and going, now and forevermore. Let there be harmony in our relationships, and may forgiveness and understanding flow freely within our households. I pray that today, we reflect your light wherever we go. Help us to be beacons of hope, compassion, and kindness to those around us. May we be the hands and feet of Jesus, serving others with joy and showing the world your love through our actions. Let every word we speak and every deed we perform bring glory to your holy name. Lord, as we commit this day to you, we trust in your timing and your purpose. We believe that you are working all things together for our good, as you promised in Romans 8 verse 28. Even when we cannot see the full picture, we trust that you are weaving a beautiful tapestry of grace in our lives. Lord, we pause to thank you for the countless blessings we often overlook. 
In the hustle and bustle of daily life, help us to cultivate an attitude of gratitude. May we recognize the small miracles that surround us, the warmth of the sun on our skin, the laughter of loved ones, the beauty of nature, and the breath of life itself. As we reflect on your goodness, let us also be reminded of those who are less fortunate. May our hearts be moved to act, to lend a helping hand, to share our resources, and to be a source of comfort for those in need. Let our lives be a testament of your love and grace, shining brightly in a world that often feels dark. Father, I pray for anyone who is feeling weary today. For those burdened by anxiety or stress, I ask that you lift their burdens and provide them with rest. Your word assures us in Matthew 11 verse 28, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. May they find solace in your presence, knowing that they are never alone, and that you carry our worries and fears for us. Lord, we also lift up those who are battling illness, whether physical, emotional, or spiritual. May your healing touch rest upon them, restoring their health and giving them peace. Your word tells us in Psalm 107 verse 20, He sent out his word and healed them, he rescued them from the grave. We claim that promise for all those who are suffering today. We trust in your divine healing, knowing that you are our ultimate physician. As we continue through our day, remind us to be still and listen for your voice. Help us to discern your guidance in every decision we make. Let us not rush ahead in our own strength, but pause to seek your will. Your plans for us are good, plans to prosper us and not to harm us, plans to give us hope and a future, as declared in Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Lord, we thank you for the gift of prayer. It is our lifeline to you, our source of strength and hope. We are grateful that we can come to you at any moment, bringing our concerns, our joys, and our praises. Help us to cultivate a consistent prayer life, one that deepens our relationship with you and strengthens our faith. As we conclude this time of prayer, we affirm that we are victorious through Christ. We declare that we are conquerors, not victims. We will face challenges with courage, knowing that we have the power of the Holy Spirit living within us. Your word in Philippians for verse 13 reminds us, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. May your presence go before us, guiding our steps and lighting our paths. As we venture into the day ahead, let us carry the spirit of joy, peace, and love. We will trust in you, Lord, for you are our protector, our guide, and our friend. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. As we close this time of prayer, I want to take a moment to thank you for joining us today. Your presence here is a blessing, and together we have sought comfort, guidance, and strength through prayer. If you felt inspired by today's message, I invite you to like this video and share it with others who may need a touch of hope and encouragement. Your support helps us spread positivity and faith to even more hearts. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an uplifting prayer or message. We are building a community of believers, and your participation is essential in creating a space where we can all grow in faith and support one another. I encourage you to comment below with your prayer requests or any testimonies of how God has worked in your life. We love hearing from you, and we want to lift you up in our prayers. Remember, you are cherished, you are loved, and you are not alone.
Let's continue to seek God together, trusting that He is always with us, guiding us through every moment. Until next time, may you walk in faith, experience His peace, and recognize the blessings that surround you each day. God bless you.